Edward. So what would you say about men's fashion in the work? I would say that if you could revolutionize what's acceptable and expected from men as a professional fashion standpoint and not have to wear a suit jacket, a tie, and all this extra clothing, I would be your number one fan. Okay, so if you had to um, have an input uh, in terms of the revolutionary change in the work um, attire, mm -hmm. one of the things you're saying you would change is the tie. Absolutely. And I mean, I, I, I consider this the closest thing to a rope around your neck. So <laughs> that would definitely be something that I would look forward to. And it's something that you kind of see. I mean, people are going further and further away from wearing a tie to work. Um, but for certain service industries, that's still required. And that's the only thing that's allowed. So, um, you know, that would be something that would be nice to change. And you see that the, the, the trend of the future really is minus the tie. Mm-hmm. Well, At least. Edward, I share those sentiments with you, and that's why I'm on this campaign um, for actually changing that. Mm -hmm. um, I design clothing for men um, that um, address that very, very issue. Yeah. Um, also, I also believe that um, the, the suit as we know it uh, is not necessarily appropriate for every single business environment. Yeah. Um, and the, the news, as you call it, I completely agree with you. I share those I'm same glad. sentiments. I'm so I take it that you are a child of the 80s. And you are you're, right. you yeah. are a Gen Y. You're the Gen Y I gen am. generation. Yeah. So you can see that not too long from now, the entire paradigm of what is workforce acceptable mm. will be something very different. Have any ideas what that may look like? Um, not entirely, no, no, I really don't. I'm not much of a fashion expert, so. Okay, well, listen, keep checking us out, okay. and um, you're going to be seeing some ideas, and I'm sure you'll embrace some of the new things that are going to be coming up. Okay. Um, but before we go, what do you think about um, men wearing something other than the pants? Like At work? Well, wherever. Wherever. I think that would be incredible. I would love to wear shorts all day. Okay. Shorts would be something I would wear all seasons every day. What do you think about the kilt or something similar to that kind of I've attire? I've never worn a kilt, so I don't know. Would you that like to? That seems very freeing. It's very freeing? Yeah. Well, I can, I can probably say to you I could agree with you. Yeah. Not have ever being a man, but uh -huh. um, I can imagine. I do know that whenever I've seen a man in a kilt, I find him extremely sexy. So oh, really? I don't know if necessarily sexy in the workplace is a thing, um, but it's very. It seems to me very liberating. What I call, I would replace the kilt, uh, however, for uh, someone who's not wearing it for, from an ethnic point of view, mm -hmm. with what I call the manch, M-A-N-C-H-E. Uh, in some school of thoughts, they're saying men are wearing skirts. I don't believe that a man should wear skirts, but mm -hmm. rather something um, conducive to a man, such as the mash. Can you say that? The mash. Yeah. 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 So check us out, and you'll see what I a mash looks like. That sounds good. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you, Edward, and I hope that in the coming months and years, yeah. your attire will be very different for Absolutely. work. Okay. I look forward to it. Thank you. Bye.